Hello students, welcome back to maths class. Today we will continue the lesson trigonometric functions. So in this lesson we will discuss the last topic of this lesson that is trigonometric equations. Okay. So what is mean by trigonometric equation? An equation involving trigonometric functions of a variable. Equations involving trigonometric functions of a variable. So let us take some examples. If sin x is equals to 1 by 2. This is example number 1, sin x is equals to 1 by 2 is a trigonometric equation. Why? Because this equation involves trigonometric functions of variable x. Okay, there is variable x. Let us take another example 2 cos square x plus sin x is equals to 0. So, this is also a trigonometric equation. By, why? Because this equation involves trigonometric functions and variable x. Okay. So, what is mean by trigonometric equation? An equation involving trigonometric functions of a variable. Variable may be x or theta, any variable we can take. Okay. So, now let us discuss what is mean by solution of a trigonometric equation. Solution of a trigonometric equation means the value of the variable which satisfies the equation the value of the variable here the variable is x the value of x which satisfies this equation is called solution of this equation okay now we will discuss solution of trigonometric equations solution of trigonometric equations. There are two types of solution in a trigonometric equation. The first one is principal solution, principal solution and the second is general solution, general solution. Okay. So, today we will discuss only this principal solution as this topic the general solution has been deleted from your syllabus for this session. Okay. So, we will take only this principal solution. Now, let us discuss what is mean by this principal solution. Okay. So, solution suppose the value of the variable is greater than equals to 0 and less than 2 pi that means the value of the variable for which the value of this x is greater than equals to 0 and less than 2 pi that is called principal solution. So, principal solution always belongs to the interval this is closed and this is open that means this principal solution always belongs to the interval 0 comma 2 pi where 0 is also included. So, all these values of x for which this x is greater than equals to 0 and less than 2 pi that is called principal solution and what is mean by general solution. So, general solution means all the solutions of a trigonometric equations in which we will use integer n that means a solution which is expressed in terms of n integer n that gives all the solution of the trigonometric equation that is called general solution. So, anyhow we are not going to this general solution because this is deleted from the syllabus now. So, we will take only principal solution. Once again what is mean by principal solution? The value of the variable for which this x is greater than equals to 0 and less than 2 pi. This variable is involved in the trigonometric equation. Okay. So, these values are called principal solution. Okay. Now, we will take some questions related to this solutions of trigonometric equations and we will see the principal solution. Okay. The question is find the principal solution of the equation sin x is equals to 1 by 2. Okay. The given equation is sin x is equals to 1 by 2. Here the value of sin x is 1 by 2 and it is positive. So, where in which quadrant the sin x is positive? We know that in the first quadrant sin x is positive and also in second quadrant sin x is positive. That means here x lies in the first quadrant or in second quadrant. 
so whenever the value of sin x is positive so we will get the principal solution in the first quadrant and as well as in the second quadrant okay so in the first quadrant we will take the angle theta as it is the solution and in the second quadrant we will take the angle pi minus theta so what is theta here you look at this equation sin x is equals to 1 by 2 for which angle this sin x is 1 by 2 we know that sin x is 1 by 2 for x is equals to pi by 6 that is 30 degree so we can write this equation as sin x is equals to sin pi by 6 I am going to write this angle in radian so sin x is equals to sin pi by 6 as we know that sin pi by 6 is equals to 1 by 2 and this equation can also be written as sin x is equals to as we know that this sin pi minus theta is equals to sin theta why I am going to take this pi minus theta because the function will not change here we will get sin function again so sin of pi minus theta is equals to sin theta so we can write this sin pi by 6 is equals to so sin pi by 6 what is the value of sin pi by 6 that is 1 by 2 so sin pi by 6 can also be written as sin of pi minus pi by 6 so both of in both of these cases we will get the same value that is 1 by 2 so this sin x can also be written as sin pi by pi minus pi by 6 okay so here I am going to use the formula of sin pi minus theta that is sin pi minus theta is again sin theta so if we compare the angles here we will get this is sin x is equals to sin pi by 6 and it is sin x is equals to it is 6 pi minus pi that is 5 pi by 6 so here we will get the value of x as pi by 6 and x is equals to 5 pi by 6 okay so x is equals to pi by 6 and x is equals to 5 pi by 6 are the principal solutions of this equation what is mean by principal solution if the value of the variable x is greater than or equals to 0 and less than 2 pi that is called principal solution so obviously this x is equal to pi by 6 and as well as x is equals to 5 pi by 6 belongs to this interval that is in between 0 to pi uh, 0 to 2 pi okay once again this sin x is equals to 1 by 2 the value is the value of sin x is given as 1 by 2 it is positive and we know that sin x is positive sin function is positive in the first quadrant and in the second quadrant so we are going to get the principal solutions in the first quadrant as well as in the second quadrant that means for this equation we are going to get two principal solutions so this 1 by 2 can be written as sin pi by 6 that is sin 30 degree okay sin pi by 6 the sin pi by 6 can also be written as sin of pi minus pi by 6 because we know that sin of pi minus theta is equals to sin theta so if we compare these angles we will get x is equals to pi by 6 here and here we will get x is equals to 5 pi by 6 okay so x is equals to pi by 6 and x is equals to 5 pi by 6 are the principal solutions of this trigonometric equation that is sin x is equals to 1 by 2 okay now let us move on to the second question that is sin x is equals to minus 1 by 2 we have to find the principal solution of this equation sin x is equals to minus 1 by 2 in the previous case it was sin x is equals to plus 1 by 2 now it is sin x is equals to minus 1 by 2 here the value of sin x is negative so we know that sin function is negative in the third quadrant and fourth quadrant so in this case pi plus theta as it is in third quadrant and fourth quadrant so we will take it is 2 pi minus theta so we know that this sin of pi plus theta is equals to minus of sin theta we are going to get the same function but with the negative sign and sin of 2 pi minus theta is also equals to minus sin theta so 
this formula we are going to use here the sine function is negative so we know that sine function is negative in the third and fourth quadrant okay so this equation sin x is equals to minus 1 by 2 can be written as sin x is equals to minus of this sin pi by 6 so here theta is pi by 6 first of all we have to find this theta by using this value only without sign you see this value that is 1 by 2 when when this sine function is 1 by 2 when the value of sine is 1 by 2 that is x is equal to pi by 6 but here it is minus 1 by 2 so we have to write minus sin pi by 6 now this equation can be converted into in this form it is minus of sin theta now minus of sin theta can be written as sin of pi plus theta so sin pi plus pi by 6 and it is also equals to sin of 2 pi minus theta that is 2 pi minus pi by 6 ok so here this minus sin pi by 6 can be expressed in this form that is sin of pi plus pi by 6 as sin of pi plus pi by 6 is equals to minus sin pi by 6 and sin of 2 pi minus pi by 6 is also equals to minus sin pi by 6 so in this case you will get sin x is equals to sin this is 7 sin x is equals to sin 7 pi by 6 and sin x is also equals to this sin this is 12 pi minus pi that is 11 pi by 6 so for this equation the principal solutions are x is equals to 7 pi by 6 and x is equals to 11 pi by 6 ok so these are the principal solutions for the given equation here the equation is sin x is equals to minus 1 by 2 and the value of sin x is negative and we know that the value of sin function is negative in the third quadrant and fourth quadrant so in this case you will take the principal solutions in this form that is phi pi plus theta and 2 pi minus theta why i am taking this pi plus theta 2 pi minus theta because here the function will not change okay but we will get a negative value of sin so understood this is the principal solution x is equal to 7 pi by 6 x is equals to 11 pi by 6 okay now let's take one more question that is question number 3 it is 2 cos x minus 1 equals to 0 here the given equation is 2 cos x minus 1 is equals to 0 we have to find the principal solution of this equation okay now this equation 2 cos x minus 1 equal to 0 can be written as 2 cos x is equals to 1 that implies cos x is equals to 1 by 2 now we got the value of cos x is equals to 1 by 2 and it is positive we know that cos function is positive in the first quadrant and in which quadrant in fourth quadrant okay so in this case the principal solution is of the form theta and 2 pi minus theta for this 2 pi minus theta cos function is positive as this cos of 2 pi minus theta is equals to cos theta what we have to see here first of all it is cos x is equals to plus 1 by 2 the value of cos x is positive so that means this angle x lies in the first quadrant or in the fourth quadrant so here we are going to get the principal solution in the first quadrant as well as in the fourth quadrant that means we are going to get two principal solutions so this cos x is equals to 1 by 2 we can write it as cos pi by 3 as we know that cos pi by 3 that is cos 60 degree that is equals to 1 by 2 and this cos x is equals to we can write cos pi by 3 in this form also that is cos of 2 pi minus pi by 3 why because cos 2 pi minus pi by 3 is same as cos pi by 3 cos 2 pi minus pi by 3 is equals to cos pi by 3 as cos 2 pi minus pi by 3 lies in the fourth quadrant so in the fourth quadrant this cos function is positive and for 2 pi minus theta the trigonometric function will not change okay so here 
the principal solution is it is pi by 3 and simplify it it is 3 to the 6 pi minus pi that is 5 pi by 3 ok. So, the principal solutions for this equation is x is equals to pi by 3 and x is equals to 5 pi by 3. So, once again this equation is 2 cos x minus 1 is equals to 0. So, we have to write the equation in this form that is cos x is equals to 1 by 2. So, cos x is equals to 1 by 2 means the value of cos x is positive and we know that the value of cos x is positive in the first quadrant and in fourth quadrant as we know the rule of ASTC ok. So, in the first quadrant all trigonometric functions are positive and in the fourth quadrant cos function is positive. So, here we are going to get the principal solution in this form that is theta here theta is equals to pi by 3 and 2 pi minus theta that means in the first quadrant and in the fourth quadrant. So, this cos this 1 by 2 can be written as cos pi by 3 or it can also be written as cos 2 pi minus pi by 3 because this cos 2 pi minus pi by 3 is equals to cos pi by 3 ok. So, here the principal solutions are pi by 3 and 5 pi by 3 ok understood. Now, let us take one more equation in which the value of cos x is taken as negative ok. Suppose, it is minus root 3 upon 2. Here the value of cos x is given as minus root 3 by 2 that means here the value is negative. So, we know that cos x is negative in the second quadrant and also in the third quadrant ok. So, here we are in which quadrant we are going to get the principal solution obviously in the second quadrant and third quadrant. So, here we have to write the principal solution as in the form of pi minus theta and it is pi plus theta. Why I am choosing this pi minus theta pi plus theta because here for pi minus theta and pi plus theta the trigonometric function will not change ok. As cos of pi minus theta is equals to here the value is negative. So, we are going to get cos of pi minus theta is equals to minus cos theta. The function will not change, but it will gives a negative value and cos of pi plus theta that is also equals to minus cos theta. So, in this form pi minus theta and pi plus theta we are going to get the principal solution, but think about this theta here you take this only root 3 by 2. So, for which what value of x this cos x is root 3 by 2 cos x is root 3 by 2 at x is equals to pi by 6 ok cos 30 degree cos 30 degree is root 3 by 2. So, this cos x is equals to minus root 3 by 2 can be written as minus of cos pi by 6 ok and it can also be written as you see cos x is equals to this minus cos theta minus cos theta is equals to cos pi minus theta we have to convert into positive sign ok. So, minus cos theta is equals to cos pi minus theta. So, we can write it as cos pi minus pi by 6, but it is also equals to this minus cos theta is also equals to cos pi plus theta. So, we have to write cos theta is pi by 6 here. So, pi plus pi by 6 ok. So, in this form that is pi minus pi by 6 and pi plus pi by 6 we are going to get the principal solution. So, it is equals to cos x is equals to cos 6 pi minus pi that is 5 pi by 6 and that is also equals to cos of it is 7 pi by 6. Now, what are the possible values of x that means principal solutions that is x is equals to 5 pi by 6 and x is equals to 7 pi by 6. So, these are the two principal solutions for this given equation. Once again here cos x is given as negative. So, we know that cos x is negative in the second quadrant and third quadrant ok. So, we will get the principal solution in this form that is pi minus theta and pi plus theta. So, just write this minus cos pi by 6 we can write this root 3 by 2 as cos pi by 6 and minus cos pi by 6 can be written as cos of pi minus pi by 6 and it, it can also be written as cos of pi plus pi by 6. So, in this way you have to solve 
So finally we are going to get the principal solutions as x is equals to 5 pi by 6 and x is equals to 7 pi by 6 ok. So let us take one more question with uh, tan x ok. So the equation is I am going to take now tan x ok. So tan x is equals to root 3. Suppose the given equation is tan x is equals to root 3 and we have to find the principal solution of this equation. So think about it now tan x is equals to root 3 here the value is positive. So we know that the value of tan function is positive in which quadrant tan is positive? It is positive in first quadrant in first quadrant all trigonometric functions are positive and also in third quadrant. So that means we are going to get the principal solution in which quadrant in first and third quadrant because here the value of tan x is positive. So here we will get 1 theta in the first quadrant and here we will get pi plus theta as we know that tan of pi plus theta is equals to tan theta ok. Once again why I am taking only this pi minus theta, pi plus theta, 2 pi minus theta here the trigonometric function will not change ok. So we are going to get the same function here that is tan again. Now this tan x is equals to root 3 can be written as tan x is equals to now for what value of x tan x is root 3 we know that the value of tan pi by 3 that is tan 60 degree ok pi by 3 means 60 degree pi by 3 is in radian. So tan x is equals to this equation tan x is equals to root 3 can be written as tan x is equals to tan pi by 3. And this equation can also be expressed in because we know that tan theta can be written as tan of pi plus theta. So it can also be written as tan of pi plus pi by 3 ok. Here theta is pi by 3 and the other angle is pi plus pi by 3. For both of these angles we are going to get the value of tan as root 3 ok. So we can write it as tan x is equals to tan pi by 3 and it is also equals to tan how much it is 3 pi plus pi that is 4 pi by 3. So what are the principal solutions you compare it x is equals to pi by 3 and x is equals to 4 pi by 3 ok. These are the two principal solutions. Here also we got this two principal solutions why because here the value of tan x is positive and we know that tan x is positive in the first quadrant and third quadrant. So we are going to get the principal solution in the first quadrant as well as in the third quadrant in this form that is theta and pi plus theta. So here the principal solution is x is equals to pi by 3 and x is equals to 4 pi by 3 ok. Now let us take another equation with the negative value of tan x ok. Now the equation is tan x is equals to minus root 3. So here the value of tan x is negative ok. So we know that tan x is negative in which quadrant tan x is negative? Tan x is negative in second quadrant and fourth quadrant as we know that tan x is positive in first quadrant and third quadrant. So it is negative in second and fourth quadrant. So here the angle is pi minus theta and here we take the angle as 2 pi minus theta ok. As this tan pi minus theta is equals to minus tan theta and tan of 2 pi minus theta that is also equals to minus tan theta. So these two results we have to use here. So this equation tan x is equals to minus root 3 can be written as tan x is equals to minus of. Now for what value of x is tan root 3? Tan gives root 3. So it is minus tan again it is pi by 3 tan 60 degree is root 3 but minus sign is there. So we have to take this into the second and fourth quadrant. So this equation tan x is equals to minus tan pi by 3 can be expressed as tan x is equals to now this minus tan pi by 3 you see minus tan theta can be written as tan of pi minus theta. So tan of pi minus 
pi by 3 and it can also be written as tan of 2 pi minus theta. So, tan 2 pi minus pi by 3. Okay. So, that implies it is tan x is equals to tan of 3 pi minus pi that is 2 pi by 3 and is equals to this is 6 pi minus pi that is 5 pi by 3. So, it is tan 5 pi by 3. Okay. So, what are the principal solutions here? Here the principal solutions are x is equals to 2 pi by 3 and x is equals to 5 pi by 3. So, these are the two principal solutions. Once again, here the value of tan x is minus root 3 that means it is negative. So, tan x is negative in the second quadrant and fourth quadrant. So, we are going to get the principal solution in second as well as in the fourth quadrant. So, in second quadrant we will take the angle as pi minus theta and in the fourth quadrant we will take the angle as 2 pi minus theta. So, this tan this root 3 can be written as tan pi by 3 here it is minus of tan pi by 3 this minus tan pi by 3 can be expressed as tan of pi minus pi by 3 that is in the form of tan of pi minus theta and also tan 2 pi minus theta. Okay. So, in this way we obtain the principal solutions that is 2 pi by 3 and 5 pi by 3 are the principal solutions of tan x is equals to minus root 3. Okay. Now, let us take some other questions using cosec function, sec function all. Okay. Let us take the equation sec x is equals to 2. Okay. Sec x is equals to 2. Now, we know that if sec x is equals to 2, then we can write it as cos x is equals to 1 by 2. Sec x is the reciprocal of cos x. Okay. So, this cos x is equals to 1 by 2. Now, cos x is positive and we know that cos x is positive in the first quadrant and fourth quadrant. Okay. So, this 1 by 2 can be written as cos of pi by 3 cos 60 degree cos 60 degree is 1 by 2. Okay. So, here this cos pi by 3 can also be written as cos of 2 pi minus pi by 3 as I told you cos 2 pi minus theta that is equals to cos theta. So, if we take this cos pi by 3 and cos 2 pi minus pi by 3 we will get the same value that is 1 by 2. So, here the principal solutions are cos in cos pi by 3 you see the angle that is pi by 3 and here the angle is it is 3 to the 6 pi minus pi that is 5 pi by 3. So, the principal solution of this equation is x is equals to pi by 3 and x is equals to 5 pi by 3. So, let us take one more question. Let us consider the equation 1 plus cot x is equals to 0. Okay. The equation is 1 plus cot x is equals to 0. So, we can write this cot x is equals to minus 1 or we can write it as tan x. What is the reciprocal of cot x? That is tan x and the reciprocal of minus 1 is minus 1 itself. So, we can write it as tan x is equals to minus 1. Now, the value of tan is negative. So, we know that the value of tan is negative in which quadrant? In second quadrant and in fourth quadrant. In second and fourth quadrant we will get the principal solutions. Okay. So, in second quadrant we will take the angle pi minus theta and in fourth quadrant we will take the angle 2 pi minus theta. So, this tan x is equals to minus 1 can be written as tan x is equals to minus of tan pi by 4. Tan pi by 4 is equals to 1 tan 45 degree. Okay. It is 1. So, we can write tan x is equals to minus of tan pi by 4. Now, this tan x is equals to minus tan pi by 4 can be written as tan of pi minus theta that is tan of pi minus pi by 4 okay? and it can also be written as tan of 2 pi minus theta that is also equals to tan of 2 pi minus theta means theta is pi by 4. Okay? So, that is equals to tan this is 4 pi minus pi that is 3 pi by 4 and is equals to 2 pi minus pi by 4 that is 8 pi minus pi that is tan of 7 pi by 4. 
So, here the principal solutions are x is equals to 3 pi by 4 and x is equals to 7 pi by 4. So, these are the two principal solutions here the value of tan x you see the tan x it is given as 1 plus cot x is equals to 0, but we have to convert it into tan x. So, tan x is equals to minus 1 its value is negative. So, we will get the principal solutions in the second as well as in the fourth quadrant. Okay, students that is all for today. So, today we will talk about this trigonometric equations and how to find the solution of trigonometric equations. So, with this all the topics of this lesson has been completed. So, I am going to conclude this lesson trigonometric functions. Now, you have to practice from your textbook. Okay, Try to do all the questions of your textbook exercise till then bye bye thank you very much.